Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a movie reaction. This is My Hero Academia movie number three, World's Hero Mission. I think that's what this is called. Let me check. World Heroes Mission. Yes. So yeah, I'm going to react to this today. It came out. Uh, it came out like quite a while ago, but it was not out as like you know in, in digital format or Blu-ray format. But it's finally out, and yeah. So okay. Uh, my hero academia i have already reacted to the previous season like I've, I've watched my hero academia from when it started but i was not doing youtube at that time so obviously i couldn't react to it but as soon as i started youtube later season i just reacted to it and we are like you know currently waiting for the next season but this movie is out and this is movie number three uh, i think i also reacted to movie two in my channel as well yeah i also did that so yeah we're going to react to this today and it's like a one hour 45 minutes movie and since this is a movie like you know it will be in movie format reaction like the subtitles will be given and the timer will be given and you know like like that like you'll have to sync it you will like you know, play the original video alongside my reaction and sync it to the timer that is given below so yeah so okay um yeah let's waste not many, not any more time because this is a long movie and like after watching the movie i'll also I'll talk a little bit about it and give my impressions all that stuff so yeah anyways let's get started this is uh my hero academia movie 3 uh wars heroes mission so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here you can sync it to the video that you are playing and watch it alongside my reaction so yeah let's start so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. All right, let's see what this is. Okay. Mm. Damn, what the visuals? What is this? First message. Oh, yeah, true. Is that the Shining Baby's? Oh, that's you. Beginning of the end. What doomsday? To how many fingers does he have? Ah, uh, thick. Damn, this is like a cult. Oh, what the? Humor eyes looks like an alien. What the hell? An alien with a mustache. Okay, so this is he's one of those guys. Okay, makes sense. Oh, it's like a spy. Oh, from the Hero Association, I'm guessing. Oh, that was only one finger. I thought he has multiple fingers. That's just the, the thing in his hand. Whoa, what the? What is that? Oh, um, whoa. Oh my God, great. What? What? They're making them... What? They're making them turtles? What? Oh, not only turtles, like making them into some beasts. Wow. Or are they like forcefully activating their quirk or something? What's happening? I think so. They're like forcefully activating their quirk or something. My God. 
okay this is a problem Oh damn. Oh that's why he's fine. Oh great. Yeah, so they are forcefully activating other quirks. Oh boy. Otion. Humorize. Lectern. Brendan. There you go. Trigger bomb. Hmm. All right, everyone's here. Hmm. Wait, who's that? What the? Okay. Hmm. All right, here we go. So they're going according to the agencies. Okay, like you know, like the the end of our agency. And damn, that's a cool suit. What the hell? Oh, these suits are just amazing. Did we see them in the previous season? I don't think so. I don't think so. We saw. This is the... These are all new characters we can see. We we remember like you know the the green haired girl. I forgot her name. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, this is really cool. Well, there you go, and... Yeah! Voyance, clairvoyance. Is that what... Yeah. Extra vision? <laughs> Just mowing down all of them, like, matter of seconds. Not hurting them, but still. Nice. Okay, this is really... <laughs> Whoa, it's like a bee. What? Oh! Wait, he's playing his <laughs> from, with his... They probably just ran away with it. Oh wait, he's here? I don't think so. Will he be here? Yeah. Or maybe this is a trap or something. Okay, no, it's not a trap. Yeah, obviously. Like, they're going to... Damn. Direct control of her. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, because they know that they're going to come for them. Oh, these, this guy. No, wait, he's, he's not that guy who we saw. 
I'm really like there's a lot of new characters we can see here from the different agencies. Like there's that B girl, the one with the clairvoyance, I think. Um, then the one who was like a you know like those squirrels. I think what do you call them? Flying squirrels. I think that's what you call them. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like we're we're getting divided by the agencies now. Makes sense, you know, because obviously they were like once a part of a school, but now they're like part of the respective agencies. Oh wait, these two also joined um Hawks. Oh yeah, they they were in Mount Lady's team. Yeah, I remember. Where was Momo at? Ah. Oh, these guys are in Japan, okay. Oh wait, did he get his power back? Medio? I, I don't know. Like, I do know, like, this happens after the uh, later season that happened. So there will be a few changes here and there, I guess, which we still don't know. Wait, who does, does this guy remind me of? Reminds me of another character. What the? <laughs> okay. No hero, oh. Wait, do people not like heroes here? I don't know why, but his hairstyle reminds me of some character. Who? Which character is it? Pick up some. What the hell? I just gave you money for the information and that's how you treat me? What the hell? <laughs> oh wait! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> uh, that's why you should always talk nicely to people. <laughs> Especially if they give you money. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Lowest ranking, okay. <laughs> World Hero Steam, okay. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> Baku has a way with words, you know. Oh my god, what's happening? Okay, robbery. Stop them. Oh my god. Whoa! What the? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, Deku can just do this now. <laughs> it's kind of like Bakugo, like just... What the... No, won't, won't work on Bakugo. Won't, won't work on him. Okay, calm down. Don't kill him. 
Nice. Oh, were these... These guys were, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he is... Okay. No, no, no. He didn't... He doesn't know. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Wait, does he also have some kind of quirk? Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Damn, Deku! <laughs> Whoa! Oh no. That's that's his that's his quirk. <laughs> Got him by surprise. But yeah, obviously. Whoa! Damn! Oh! Wow, okay, this guy is yeah, I think he probably doesn't have any quirk. What? What was that? <laughs> oh! Yeah, he knows this whole, pla whole pl place on the, like, the back of his hand. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's good. Okay. Oh, this thing. Oh my god, yo! Whoa, this is a cool work. Yo, <laughs> this is a really cool one. Oh no! Uh. Okay. Where's the suit? Okay, there it is. Oh, she saw that. But this is Deku we're talking about. He, he's probably just going to run behind the train or something. Or just grab onto it. I'm sure he's here somewhere. There you go. He's running. I think he's running. There you go. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Yeah, like that. Show us what's inside. Yeah, exactly. Um Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ooh. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see what the police has to say after watching Getting to see what's inside the suitcase oh. 
Yeah. Nope. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I'll play. Oh! Ah! Oh my god, this bird is again. Ooh, ooh. I don't think he even knows what's inside it. Yeah, he just handed it over to him. What the? Yeah, this 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 is the suitcase that that guy guy just took. Yeah. Wait. Oh, did switch? Oh my God! It it got switched. Okay, these guys are actually tracking for that suitcase that um, Deku has now. Barrels. Uh, he's like, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I told you, I was, I was just a salesman, you know. Oh, okay, that's what happened. Oh, my God, I was like, when did it get switched? That's when it got switched. Okay, well. No, not Daijobu. <laughs> the girl just shoved it away. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, mm, oh my god. Just just open the suitcase and just show them. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Nothing. Nothing here. <laughs> oh, yo, stop. Well, Deku, you just went against the police of this country. Now what's going to happen? <laughs> Yo! My god! What is this Spider-Man? <laughs> okay. Damn, Deku! This is just Spider-Man now, <laughs> like just swinging around the city. Yeah, you were going to die if we didn't save you. <laughs> uh. Whoa! Okay, great. What was her name? Boros or something? Damn. Oh my god, I just love this quirk, like using her fingers like this, like damn. Damn! <laughs> Whoa, wait, these are homing arrows! Yeah, these are homing arrows. <laughs> okay, you know what? They could just Spider-Man at this point. I, I can't say anything else. Like, what is... GM. Ooh. Use a web, Spider-Man. There you go. Oh my god, the police is also here. Great. Okay, that works, I guess. 
Arrows cannot follow inside the water. No, come on, Endeavor. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just this guy is just like oh my god oh my god I knew this was going to happen I was just saying what yo the media is nuts here completely the media is nuts here over here what the hell nothing the police just started shooting and what what oh my god what is happening here like are they, are they like pulling the strings from the inside or something Yeah. Well, we are wanted now. You as well, so. <laughs> All might is like what? <sighs> Obviously not. Yeah, someone's pulling the strings from the inside. Well, obviously, why would he do that? Okay, like... Yeah. Wow, like he's in the wanted list. <laughs> yeah. Because I saved you. That's why. Uh. Hmm. You know what? We saved you just. You would have died. What the hell? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that was not the actual police, I guessing. Oh, uh, that was part of the humanize. Uh, humanize? What was the name? Nah, it's not that easy. <laughs> They're going to snuff you out after that. Exactly. <laughs> what? Yeah, they they're going to burn you up then. Yeah, this guy's... <laughs> now, I think the... Like, you know, having the case with them will be the most safe option for them currently. That as well. <sighs> yeah. Uh, 
Well, I don't know. We'll run, okay. That seems the best option now. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting, they took an interesting turn. I'm kind of liking this. I'm surprised that his face is not on the wanted list, this guy. <laughs> I feel bad for his uh, siblings, you know, just waiting for him. <laughs> you know what they could just oh he could not <laughs> there you go nice uh, I don't know Yes. Pending. What? What type of an? Yeah, these guys are in 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 that whole thing. I think. Yep. Great. It's one of those. Wow, like, ah, detective. Humor, I show. Yeah, that that guy. Oh. Hmm. There you go. Oh. Code word. Code word. Yeah. <laughs> clear. Oh. oh, clear. Okay, the the that country. Hmm. Yes, let's go. Oh, they're keeping an eye out on them. Great. Yeah, exactly. These guys think that they, they can like you know they can follow them without letting them know. Not that easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, like at least I like, can you know, tell them that we're I'm fine. Okay, I thought like the police were there. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Uh, what the? Okay. Mm. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah, there is some secret within it, that means. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, at least we got a place to stay in. Hmm. <clears throat> He can carry you. Yeah. You can run fast. <laughs> yeah, in process. Damn. <laughs> oh. Wait, they're all siblings? Yeah. Or no, three of them. Wait, who were the, oh, I guess it was his friends. Mm, they were pretty well off, we can see, but something happened probably. Damn, what is this puzzle? Whoa! Ran away. Oh, oh no. What the? Uh... Wait, so. Does he realize that he's getting involved in that humorize? You know, like, in that, that's why they're being chased? Most, yeah, probably he knows. You know, the, the things that's currently happening, that's because of, of humorize, like the suitcase and everything. Oh my god, he... <clears throat> oh, no. If the bird is like, you fool, you're gonna get arrested or killed. Oh my god, what the... Even the bird knows that this... He's calling the police, I think. Right. Deku, you sleep too much. <laughs> I guess he had a lot hard day at work, you know. Damn, even the bird knows that this is the thing that he's doing is not okay. Like this guy oh my god, great. Now now they just kill him. Oh is is that girl? No, someone else.
No, you're gonna get killed now. Oh my god. You fool! Even the bird no knew better than you. What the hell? He's, he's too naive, I can see, like... Damn, this guy's like an Oni. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Oh my god, Deku's power. <laughs> Look at it. Run! Oh my god. Oh, that girl. Yeah, she's here. Yep. Uh, look what happened. Just because you were... Like, there'll always be people like who just, like, you know, like, don't understand the grave situation. He, he thought that they're going to just leave him alone after getting it. Oh, that's why he got saved, kind of. Well, at least, yeah. Like, after this, he won't pose a problem. What's he reading? Oh, the map. Um. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, obviously, like he's he's working for his siblings. Yeah. Exactly, like, oh, oh, really? Oh, my God, that's sad.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at bird nest. <laughs> He's thinking that that's like a bird nest. <laughs> ah, Rory soul. Oh. <laughs> Easy to remember. <clears throat> All right. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, the police is just, yeah. There you go. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure this guy also probably has a quirk. Like what what the hell? Why is he just bossing around everyone just saying that our ah, quirks are bad and this and that? Uh no, wait, what? Oh. Borrowed it? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. disappeared so wait maybe he got involved in something like I'm, I'm sh I think something must have happened to that and maybe the dad wanted to just leave the organization or something oh he picked that up and oh my god yo look okay <laughs> yeah like as I was saying maybe the dad tried to get away from the organization but you know that's why he got Talked, and I don't know something had they did something to them him because he looked like a person who like you know really cared for his family so suddenly disappearing like that I don't think that that should have happened. Wow! Look at the scenery. Oh, look at this! Oh, damn! It is an inha uninhabited place, I can see. Well, I guess this is on the way, okay. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, give me all of those. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> oh wow, look at the oh my god, look at the scenery. Wow. Would have been a nice vacation if they were not running away from the police. <laughs> uh Wait, he has? Oh, he has. I thought he. What? Power of friendship? <laughs> uh, okay, they didn't. Okay. Great. They're probably going to reveal it later on. What? What's is he going to distract them or something? No. Whoa, he's going to stay here. Oh my god. What? Great. Oh my god, these. Okay, there you go. Uh, uh. What the hell? Marvels? What are those? Oh, it's kind of like. Wait. Whose quirk does this remind me of? Oh yeah, yeah. There's that that one person we saw who uses marbles, and it just. Oh no, it's from a different anime. Sorry, <laughs> I was talking about another anime, in a battle in thirty seconds or something. Someone had a similar power where marbles just expanded. <laughs> Damn! Wow. Like we can see one thing if. He fought, if they could fought one versus one or you know like he's extremely powerful than them easily overpowered them oh my god the case is gone oh yo oh no quick oh my god this guy Okay. Um. Where did this? He doesn't even have the suitcase with him. What the hell? Why are you? Okay, thank God. Nice. <laughs> yeah, a Baku goes here as well. That means. All right. Well, these three are here. You can't do anything now. <laughs> oh my god. I love the camera work. Shut up. Just. <laughs> Yo, the camera work and the way they did it. It's impressive. I really like this style. Like, you know, this it's. It really feels like, well, obviously, this is a movie. Oh! oh. <coughs> oh, great. She's going to jump or something. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, she has a parachute. Okay. No, wait, was that her using the parachute? Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. Baku was going to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he didn't know about that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, damn. What? Oh, this thing. Rodi probably knows how to do it. Maybe this was something made by the dad, you know? Come on. Maybe, maybe his dad made this when he was during, like in, in his, when he was in, in the organization. It must be. Oh, some chips. What is that? I think it must be like his dad made it or something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're useless now. Oh, he's like, I don't even care now. Wow, all these brainwashed people. Oh my god. Whoa, what is that? What? Okay. Dreaming? Oh my god. Salvation device. Wait, who is this? Salvation has been two hours. Oh God. Oh. All right, his. What the hell? He thinks this is a game or something, letting them know where they are? Yeah, one thing is good that they're actually spread out. Yeah, where are they even going to go? Like, all the places are just... Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Just... There you go, this is work. Hmm. Okay.
Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh, wow, that's a really amazing way to. Wow. Wait, who is this? Salam. What? What is this guy? He's not paper thin. <laughs> Neighboring country glide, okay. Ooh, so many, what? Newest time sunk. Alan Kim. Wait, is this the same guy? Okay, I think the dad is like taken kidnapped or something. The quirk factor trend. Oh. That's what they're planning, okay. Wow. And then they're going to rule. Yeah, he, he probably has a quirk and he'll probably be the only one having a quirk at that moment. Eddie Soul, there you go. There you go, his dad. That's his dad's name. I think so. Oh. What? Who? Oh, you know what? That's why he let them know which countries are in. To, to make everyone panic. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Damn, like Bakugo knows a lot of 400 kilometers. How? What is that place? Oh, he can. Oh, wait, he can fly. Wait, he can really fly? Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay. Well, at least they let them know, you know. There you go. Uh, reinforcements can come now, little by little. Yeah, that's true. If if they somehow fail. Oh. Okay. Oh no. This is also a trap. Like, they've put people, like, you know, like, besides, not people, but guards, besides the actual trigger bombs. It's like a trap for them as well. Whenever some heroes go towards it, they're going to get attacked. There you go. Yep. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. <laughs> 30 minutes oh my god Twenty minutes okay Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Whoa, what? Exactly. These are just m m hypocrites, you know? These people. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wait. <laughs> wow, the way he put out the flame. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be someone. Yeah, there you go. What the... Looks like Orochim. <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> Die. All right. Wow, okay. Ah! Great, another crazy person. All right, you stay put. Oh my God. Hi, I'm your dad and you know, puts, takes out the hood and it's like his dad is standing. Ah.
So yeah, okay. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Oh. There you go. Okay, it's the big boss is here. This this one. Oh, what? Heat resistant or something? Yeah. Let's see if ice works. No, it doesn't, apparently. What type of a quirk is this? Oh my god. Whoa, what the? Who the hell is this? What type of a quirk is this? Rotating his quirk and control the flow of water. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ho -ho. Yeah, at point. Oh. Uh, oh my god, no. Ah, okay, that okay. Yes, come on. Oh my god, the other one. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is an annoying quirk. Oh, oh, he already set all the that's why he was kind of okay going around the thing makes sense. He was preparing that. Did that? I don't think that took care of it. Hmm. Okay. It did take care of them. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Great. You know what? These two are the most annoying villains, I think. <laughs> Alright, I think that that blue guy will be here. Blue guy will probably be waiting here. Okay. There you go. There he is. The hell is this guy even talking about? His own people has quirks. And I'm pretty sure he also has some kind of quirk. Hmm. 
What? What type of what? Oh my god! Does he like some kind of a counter power or something like counter attacks or something like that? Oh, it's a counter attack, I think. Yeah, he counters. Oh my god, great. Reflects everything. There you go. That's why these mirrors a thing. Always activated. That's, uh, yeah, you know what? That'll be a problem in everyday life. What the? Yeah, why? How do you even defeat this guy? I, I guess you probably hit him with such a strong force that he won't be able to. I guess. Oh yeah, he cannot die, I guess. People's bodies are not going to Work just at the moment of impact, okay. Oh my god, so it, it kind of goes back and then comes. You know what I think what will be good for him like using using something that doesn't exert force like I don't know chloroform or something just make him unconscious I reject myself oh, God Whoa. Oh my god. Ah. Five minutes. Five minutes, thirty seconds. Hmm. <sighs> die with a friend. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to talk about something and after this ends, like the movie is great, but there's one thing that I have to say about. <sighs> Let's watch it first. I'll then talk about my impression. Oh my god, his eye. You know what? Make him hit himself or something. I don't know what's going to happen after that. If he hits himself somehow, what's going to happen? Maybe, I don't know, tickle him or something. Oh wait, he's... what? How did he... Oh yeah, he was on his way.
Oh wait, maybe this will work. Oh, okay, his dad made this. Maybe this was... Oh, okay, okay, that's, oh, that's what it is. Sorry, I, I misunderstood it. I think he's planning something else. He probably doesn't plan on giving it. He, he's going to do something else. Nah, he has some other plans. He probably, I don't know. My God. Right. Yeah. No, you're not. <clears throat> wow, this guy's delusional. Nah, he, he has some other plans. I'm sure of it. He, he's not going to give it to him. He's probably going to do something else. He has some other plans. There you go. Oh, wait, he has a quirk. What is that? What? Wait. Wait, it's going to counter him, then what? Oh, damn. What is his quirk? They didn't tell us even now. Oh! Oh. Oh. Come on, tell us now at least. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, really? Ah! Oh.
That's why when she was sleep, oh my god. Pino told woke Deku up because within his heart he didn't want to do that. Okay, that's an interesting quirk. I have to say. Oh. oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh, great. No, it won't work because it's... Oh, never mind. I guess they did stop it. You're gonna get the beating of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're probably never using their quirks again. They'll have PTSD. They'll be like, nah, this is not for me. <laughs> Damn. This, <laughs> yo, it feels like they killed him or something. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have PTSD now. They'll be like, nope, this is not for me. What? Was oh, that a waterfall? Oh. Oh, damn. Yes, that was a nice way to get out of that situation. Whoa! Oh, well, okay, never mind. Damn. Just kind of made it, uh... Oh, freeze him from the inside. Oh! Freeze him, freeze him, you have... Wait, he's using fire? Okay. There you go, he is also using... Damn. Um... Uh, will someone come and save him? Oh my god, he's losing blood. Ah. Oh. oh. Ah. Oh my god. Oh no! His... God. Ah, you're, you're forgetting Pino. She's still there. It's his 
inner I'm, I'm pretty sure the bird is going to take it and do something because it's its inner you know his his inner strength or whatever you call it intentions yeah i'm pretty sure the bird is going to do it because the bird was not on the camera frame you know he saw him there and he's like oh his he won't be able to do anything. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, that's a bomb. Okay. Damn, that's a huge bomb. Yeah, in, in the water or in the sky? Somewhere. Two more. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> throwing his balls. <laughs> Ugh. Damn. Oof. What? Wait, what happened? The spar increased. Oh, he's getting weaker. Oh. Yeah, okay, makes sense. <laughs> he never got beaten up this much, I guess, in his life. That's why he never knew. <laughs> there you go. I guess if Deku was able to use 100% of his power from the beginning, yeah, he would have easily been able to defeat him because there is a limit to his power. Well, hit it where it hurts. <laughs> plus ultra yeah you never went plus ultra you know that's why this is happening <laughs> right All right, he's getting pushed back. There you go. And I guess people who are... So, oh boy, never mind. I was going to say he probably doesn't attack that much because he always defends and he's never gets hurt. Oh. Wait, there was like 30 seconds left. How, what's happening? I just realized. What is this, Dragon Ball Z? Like, like 30 seconds was left and this. Oh my God, the fighting is spectacular. I, wow, good job. Just look at this. It's like beating each, oh my God. Ooh.
Wait, okay, one thing. I don't... Whoa. Wait, did he just... My god. Oh, look at him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Damn, Deku is like went buff. Com Whoa, okay, this is cool. It's like one <laughs> consecutive normal punches. There you go. Damn, oh my god, look at that counter. That's just that's just building up and it's Oh my god, yo. <laughs> you <laughs> Okay, this is cool. Oh boy. For a moment I felt like they could become bigger or something. He's like a grown man or something, like you know, like from behind we were seeing him. How? Like tense? 20 seconds? Okay. I'm sure the bird is going to do it. Come on. I'm 100% sure. Let's see. No. The bird. Come on. Oh, wait, no. I, th I still think the bird did it. Let's see. Yeah, the bird did it. There you go. I really hope Roddy stays alive. Like, if he dies, that'll be kind of sad, you know? With everything that happened, his siblings and everything. Don't kill him off. I'm, I'm gonna be pissed if he dies. There you go. I'm sure it's the bird. Let's see. There you go. That was pretty obvious that the bird's going to do it. Yeah, I, I think he's okay. Maybe. No? Okay, he's okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, what happened to his dad? I wonder. Um... <laughs> nope, you saved the world. I guess this is the like prime example of like you know even if you have done do not have grand old quirks you, you can still save the world like the thing that um, all might said to Deku in the first season <clears throat> and that the thing that Deku proved like yeah like you just need to have a hero's heart to save everyone <laughs> you got arrested. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, day of departure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Come on.
<laughs> Simple. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Or respectable one. It's like what? <laughs> yeah, that's not an interesting job, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's happy. Okay, good. That was good. Oh, I do have a few things to say about this movie, and. Like, one thing I really liked about this movie is the way they did the camera work. I feel like it was an interesting way they did this here. I don't remember them doing it like this in the previous movie. I don't know. Or maybe they did it like this and I just didn't notice. But here in this movie, it was extremely prominent. Oh, what's happening here? What's happening? Oh, they're back, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Minetas. What is that? Oh, that's this uh, Salam. I think that's his name. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, let's see what's happening here. I guess he's he's working in the bar. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm, it's the brother. Hmm. It's nice that they're having a normal life now, you know, like they said, like they said, like they never had a normal life because everyone hated them because his dad, you know, became part of the human eyes. It's interesting to see that his quirk is like, you know, you cannot hide your true self from others. That's basically his quirk. <laughs> what he'll feel, like, you know, that quirk will always express. So he can never betray anyone if, if the other person knows that, yeah, that's his quirk. And I doubt he will ever. He cannot lie, I guess, as well. Wow. And people will believe him, you know, like... Like that's an like interesting thing about his quirk. Like people who knows that that's his quirk, everyone will believe him because they can just see his inner feelings. Like you know, like like people will easily trust him. 
<laughs> okay. We can Baku or just. <sighs> Alright, I think that's the end. Is there anything else? Let's see. Nope, that's the end. Alright, so this episode, uh, not episode, sorry, movie. Okay, mm, now, I, as I was saying, you know, like, I like the way they did the camera work, and I don't remember if they did this in the previous movie as well, but here it was very prominent. The way they did the camera work was just, I, I really liked the way it do, did, do, did it, you know, like, it was like the characters were just standing, and the camera was just, you know, like, moving from one place to another, and it's just, like, you know, like, the different angles they were showing. It was not, like, you know, it was not, like, a cut, like, how they usually do it, like, you know, like, the characters kind of stand, like, one character we see fighting, they, like, you know, like, we see that part, character's portion, then they cut it off, and then they go to another scene, where, like, you know, maybe, like, Baku goes fighting. But here, since they were, like, almost at the same place, they did not do it like that. They were basically kind of moving the camera from, like, you know, from Midoriya to Bakugo and then to Todoroki, just kind of, like, you know, rotating and just revolving around them and showing us the whole scene. I think that was a really interesting way they did that. And um, it was like a fresh way we saw the animation. And the, the fights were spectacular as always. It was really good. And um, yeah, like, I have no complaints about the animation. Neither the, um, what do you call it, uh, the, uh, the visuals, yeah, you know, like, and all the other stuff, like, you know, in the, in the visual and audio department, uh, I don't have any, like, you know, complaints and any problems, but there's one thing, like, you know, I felt here, like, I, I feel like, like, I'm first, you know what, first I'm going to tell all the things that I really liked about this movie, that was one thing, another thing I liked is the little, not twist, I won't say it's a twist, but the little revelation in the end, like that uh, the bird was actually his inner emotions or inner feelings, whatever you call it. And like, you know, if you, if you think about it in the previous scene, it, it, it really is kind of gives us a whole new perspective of the character Roddy. Because when we saw him, you know, like that, that scene where uh, he just wakes up and goes and phones up, like, you know, the, the, those guys. And um, <laughs> I was saying that, oh, even the bird has more brains than you. Obviously, I did not know that that bird was actually his inner inner, inner emotions, and it, it really puts like such a whole new, like we had like a one like you know what can I say like one impression of him at that scene when we saw that I was like what's happening the bird even realizes that you're not supposed to do that and you're just going and just like you know calling them and like you know bringing them from you you know like just calling them to take it like obviously they're going to kill you off after you know they you hand over hand over the suitcase. And that was how I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people felt when they've watched that scene in the beginning. And then in the end, after the revelation, I'm like, damn, so that means like he, he went there, but his heart didn't want to do it. His heart didn't want to betray it. So the bird just woke up Deku. Like that was like, it brings such a whole new perspective to that scene after we got to know that. And you know, like he, he, his outer body moved. He just wanted to like you know like call them because he was concerned about his brother and sister and he like you know he was he was not listening to his heart basically that scene is what that means he was not listening to his heart there's a lot of times when we like we normal people as well like everyone of us like you know we have like this one gut feeling we have this one feeling in our heart but we choose the safer option or the option that we feel like yeah that's probably going to work even though my heart doesn't want to do it and we still do it like that was basically this scene he he just did that because he wanted you know his his uh you know like he wanted to like protect his brother and sister and he thought like yeah that's like the safer option but his heart didn't want to do it his heart has other plans and that's what i think pino was the name of something like that the bird you know the bird just went and woke they grew up and like wow like that that proves puts a huge you know, different perspective and i'm pretty sure people who knows what the quirk is if they go back to the different scenes where that bird was involved they're going to see a lot of different changes now they'll be able to realize like oh look at the bird here he's like you know the bird is acting like this while roddy was acting like this that means like his heart probably was like you know like this happy or something like you know like when the bird started crying and everything while you know uh, while roddy was acting aloof completely like 
that's what it showed and i'm sure a lot of people if they go back now after learning the actual secret of his quirk they're going to probably pick up on subtle hints about a few other stuff you know like <laughs> seeing the bird and roddy acting now now that's 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 one thing i really liked about this movie um and as i said as as i said like you know, the visuals were impressive the um, audio the sound and everything was impressive and um i have to say the story the what do you call it um the foundation of the story was kind of interesting i kind of said this before when they like you know when they could became wanted and everything i was like oh this is an interesting way this is going you know like deku is like the criminal now and i was like damn this is kind of interesting to see and it it kind of went in that direction and then it kind of reverted back to the same old formula and I was kind of disappointed at that but still they had like a good foundation i have to say but one thing that i really like you know um, like you know uh, what can i say like um the movie is great as i said again but there's one thing i feel like they're kind of overusing this formula over and over again like this whole thing of like oh like there's this one villain who is misunderstood uh not misunderstood sorry not misunderstood he he basically was you know what yeah he was misunderstood yeah okay uh who's misunderstood and like you know who has this kind of like a sad past or whatever and he becomes this um i don't know like this avenger or something this type of a person who just wants to oh uh, like this guy here he was like oh i'm going to cleanse the whole world of all the quirks and this and that because my like you know past was a sad one and that's basically it like i feel like this whole formula is getting a little bit overused you know not only in my hero academia like in, in anime in general like you know this whole thing i don't know this is just my opinion you know like this whole thing like i was basically able to like you know uh, guess the whole plot from after like you know that point onwards when he told his backstory i was like okay so he was basically he's this guy and i was pretty sure what was going to happen you know like he was going to be stubborn like this from starting to the end Deku is going to somehow come in, like, and defeat him somehow. Deku is going to lose. We're going to feel as if, oh, everyone is going to be defeated. And then suddenly something, like, some twist is going to happen. And everything is going to be able to, like, everything is going to be fine by the end of it. There will probably be 10 seconds left on the timer when the timer will be stopped. Like, these things, you know, these are, I feel like these whole, this whole thing is getting a little bit overused in anime in general, in my opinion like now another thing i'm not sure as far as i know like these movies are not canon are they like i guess they are canon because they do give us little flashbacks but uh the original mangaka did did that like you know did the original mangaka write this or this is like an original anime story i'm not sure if i think this is an original anime story i'm i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure but i feel like that is the reason why if this really is an anime original story or something um I, I think that's probably the reason why the story is getting so overused like in this whole thing of oh like you know like as i said i kind of explained like you know like the villain is misunderstood like you know he decides to destroy the world or whatever for his misunderstood past or something and the, the heroes come in they lose at the beginning and then by the end of it uh because of some like you know like i won't give up this whole thing they 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 somehow are able to counter the situation and yeah we are able to win this whole formula if this is an anime original like you know movie um i would say that okay you know what i guess that's fine because like yeah obviously like if the original mangaka did not have anything to do with this you know like uh, like this is like an anime original story and i guess yeah like what can i even say like like that's basically what happens that's why fillers you know fillers are kind of boring most of the fillers you know are boring there are exceptions however as, as i said but most fillers are boring that's why because those are anime original you know like you don't have enough time to think of like a plot you just make something generic and just like you know uh, like prime example is boruto the anime like it, it, it's it's extremely bad because it's pumping out fillers like crazy you know that's basically the reason and I think the, the boat of the manga is uh, like I think it, it became monthly or something. That's why like you know like since every week they had, like, the anime has to pop out one episode is basically so bad, and that's why the rating has just dropped. I think like the boat of the manga's story is pretty good. I've not read it, however, 
But the reason why the anime has such a bad reputation is because of the fillers. Like, that's the reason why. You know, like, anime original episodes, they usually don't, are not good. But as I said, again, there are exceptions. A lot of exceptions. Gintama is a prime example of an exception. Even the fillers in Gintama is just hilarious and it's amazing. So, I don't even know if Gintama has any fillers or something. I don't know. And there are certain exceptions. You know, even in Naruto, there were a lot of fillers which were actually interesting. Really interesting. So... But usually, that's why, you know, like, if, if this is an anime original, I would say, yeah, like, nothing you can do about it. But this whole, you know, generic plotline is getting a little bit overused, and I feel like they did this here again. Like, again, it, it was predictable, you know, the whole situation was extremely predictable. The only thing that was not predictable was that whole thing with Pino, that, that little bird. That was a surprise, and that's why I really liked that part. You know, like, like we need some, a little bit of a surprise factor, like, you know, like, like everything is good like 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 everything is needed you know in a movie beat movie in anime like you know the 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 animation the soundtrack like those were really good and that's why i had a great time enjoying this uh you know like anime if the plot was also something really not which was not overused i think we would have had even a better time that's what i'm saying you know like we would have even a a greater time like this was extremely predictable at at, at, at like you know at, at, especially by the end of it and um <clears throat> now here's the thing the thing about the villain i feel like this is one villain which everyone's everyone will be able to forget very easily because he had no uniqueness the only thing that is unique about him was his character design and his quirk was a little bit interesting you know other than that everything that he did was again generic it was it was again like an overused thing of oh i have been uh, misunderstood in my like you know past like you know this happened I, I'm, I, I was a very sad person you know like I, I was such a uh, what can I say like um like because of my work I have been uh, mistreated or whatever that's what he was going through you know I was never understood so I'm going to do something crazy that's basically the whole thing this whole plot point is so overused in like you know shown in villains I think like it's it's getting a little bit of a uh, a little bit stale you know this whole thing and again like you know what was this like you know what was this villain's main thing his thing was like he counters everything you know like he re not counters but reflects sorry um now i one thing i really don't understand why was why did his parents did not like unless and until you hurt him you know like you won't get I don't understand like he said something about my parents never loved me or something because of that like like first of all if that really was the reason why your parents didn't love you i have to say your parents were probably questionable human beings i have to say because th that's your son you know like and if you do that just because of that yeah your, your parents were probably in the wrong here like that's that's basically it and as i said like you know unless and until you hurt him or punch him nothing i don't think this quirk is a big problem i'm not sure how what what he actually tried to say he was said like his girlfriend left him or something like what i could understand the whole thing with friends because you know like friends have like this thing like you know they kind of hit each other or something and <laughs> maybe someday like you know like one of his friends was like ah like they slapped him in the back <laughs> like and then it got bounced back to him and he got injured or something i don't know and after that maybe everyone started avoiding him i could understand the whole thing with his friends i don't understand the thing with his parents and his girlfriend like what's with that unless and until you hit him like i don't think the quirk would pose a problem i'm not sure but maybe i don't know something else so that's what he says and the, he says like oh that is the reason why i'm going to cleanse everyone of this quirk this whole thing which affected me i'm going to save human like you know the, the whole universe uh, not universe the whole world and that's why i'm killing people now so that's basically it like this whole thing this whole overused generic reason for someone becoming a villain it is it, just overused now and at this point i feel like and i like really like you know like as soon as i got to hear his backstory i was like yeah this is going to be the same thing and the whole thing after that as well, like, you know, like Deku coming in, everyone, all the other characters somehow get involved with some other villains, they start fighting them. Deku's the only one who actually ends up in the, in the final boss 
you know, like room. And I guess there is a reason for that. You can say like, yeah, Deku is the one who is the fastest there. That's why he was like, you know, Todoroki and Bakugo started stopping the other villains. And they were like, you go ahead because he can run fast. I guess, you know, that's like a probable explanation for that. Still, you know, like, I feel like this is, this is another thing that's so overused. Like, the other characters somehow get involved with some other villains. And the main character somehow gets, like, you know, ends up in the final boss room and has the final boss battle. And by the end of it, like, you know, they're fighting. Deku's just losing everything. But then, you know, he gets this thing about, like, oh, everyone's fighting. Everyone's not giving up. I also won't give up. He stands up and fights and everything. And then a twist is going to happen after that. We're all, every one of us are sure about that. The twist in this episode was like the whole thing with Roddy, which was an interesting twist, I have to say. I won't say it's a twist, but uh, like, you know, the thing, the revelation, the whole thing with Pino, I really enjoyed that part. You know, he, like, you know, he, he tricks them and, like, you know, makes Deku understand that, yeah, I have no plans on giving it to him using the bird. So he does that. And this is like the twist that happens in the end. He's, he's able to get away from that situation and do the job by the end of it. And Deku just keeps stalling. Like, this is the basic blueprint, you know, of overused, um, you know, plot points. And I feel like they need to change this a little bit, you know. Like, uh, in My Hero Academia, the anime, I'm going to say this whole thing, this whole generic thing, it, it sometimes is present there, but majority of the time, I, I have to say the anime does it a pretty good job of actually countering that and give us a lot of new revelation, new twists and turns, you know, like focuses on the villains as well, focuses on the heroes as well, not only Deku, all the other characters, you know, like that's why I feel like the anime does a really good job of kind of balancing everything. Like obviously, like, you know, like this whole like shonen formula of not giving up, and not um you know like like this this whole thing of like yeah like we won't give up and we will fight till the end this this thing will be there forever because that's basically a shonen anime you know that's why we start like that's why we watch shonen anime because of this thing like I, i've seen a lot of people complaining about this whole friendship and this whole never giving up thing then why like and this is my question here like why the hell do you watch shonen anime then shonen anime means that is the thing that will be the main focus uh but as i said like you know if that gets a little bit overused and it sometimes gets nonsensical that's a problem but i don't think no i hear academia usually does that in the anime at least i don't feel it that much you know like there as i said like it, it keeps the whole thing pretty balanced because it it uh focuses on other things as well not only deku you know there's a lot of things it focuses on even on the even on the villains and everything a lot of world building a lot of things and I feel like that's why it's able to balance the whole thing. But as I said, this since this movie, this is basically a movie, you know, like a short little thing. Um, this whole generic, you know, shonen formula is very much apparent here. And I feel like they need to change that a little bit, especially in movies. You know, like, I don't know. This is just my opinion, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure like, I'm not saying this, this movie is bad. I, I really enjoyed the movie. As I said, I, I said, the, the 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 animation the thing like all the things that were happening in itself really covers up for everything and i was pretty entertained watching especially the final battle you know that final battle was fantastic when they were all fighting and everything you know bakugo todoroki like the way todoroki does everything the way bakugo defeats those two characters um the way deku fights you know and um boy like the in, in the end like you know i feel like he, he kind of got bigger or something like you know when he was standing like you know with his back towards us and uh, he just like you know just punching and, and the counter thing was just like, growing 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 and it suddenly blasted off with a, it wasn't able to take that much force <laughs> like that was impressive that portion even the, the b before that all the fights were just fantastic that really covers up for everything but that's what i'm saying if the plot was a little bit new you know then it would have been an even better move in my opinion so yeah that's that's why you know that's what I'm, i wanted to say like uh, this whole thing and i feel like the villain should have been a little bit more interesting um I, as i said before again uh, the the only thing that's interesting about this villain is his character design i feel like, like he has a very cool character design you know the blue like you know skin that he had and then like little mirrors just floating around him that's a cool character design i like that 
but other than that his motivations and everything is so overused and i feel like there should be a change yeah and roddy was a good character you know like and here's another thing i feel like that's uh kind of used in a lot of movies is that you go somewhere you meet a new character completely and that character becomes like the complete main focus of the whole movie now i don't have a problem with this you know like all, all the other things that i was just saying before this I, I i had a little bit of a problem with that as i said like you know that the plot should be a little bit more new and interesting i have a problem with that but this thing i don't have a problem with you know like yeah this is this is fine you know like any like every movie like you know like when even the previous movie like i think what was her name melissa that girl the blonde haired girl that we met you know that girl and even i don't remember the previous movie but you know like these things like not only in my hero academia all movies all shonen movies have this you know like even in naruto like you know they, they like every movie like focuses on an ordinary character who we never met before and i'm pretty fine with that you know i'm i'm, I'm really okay with that because it, it kind of like you know gives us a new what can i say like yeah like it, it, it's interesting to meet to meet new characters and everything but I feel like the plot in itself should be a little bit new. Like not this overused thing which they kind of do nowadays. Uh, well, other than that, uh, one thing I really loved, another thing I really loved about this movie is we got to see a lot of new characters. Um, um, the girl with the, I, I guess he, she killed herself. The one who jumped from the helicopter. I thought he, she activated the parachute or something, but no, I think he just, just killed himself, yeah. I think the one who used the parachute was a pilot, I think, yeah. I, I really liked his her work, you know, the way he used her, like, he kind of used this. These two were like the bows, like, thing. And <laughs> that was cool. Um, the new characters that we saw in the hero agencies are, like, you know, that, that one guy who looks like a pharaoh. He looks like a paper thin. <laughs> that guy, guy was interesting. And a few others we saw as well, the clairvoyance girl. You know, that girl, the, the other one. Um... Uh, there were a few others. I don't remember the, them particularly, but yeah, there were a few interesting characters we saw here, and the squirrel girl, the flying squirrel girl, and I'm sure we'll meet them in the future, uh, in the future seasons. And uh, yeah, though that was another interesting thing about this movie. Like we we got to see a lot of new characters and then their quirks and everything. Uh, and yeah oh another thing i forgot to say the final battle you know when deku like you know started kind of because his after images started coming in and was fighting that fighting was spectacular i just loved that one you know like the animation and the way they did it it was so fast paced but at the same time it was just so cool and that was probably my most favorite part of this movie the final battle scene you know when deku goes full ham he just you know just just goes and just starts punching him out like after he realizes that yeah his quirk is probably ending like you know going to reach his limit just goes and just starts beating him up and that that part was just amazing i loved it what else is there anything else in the movie another thing i'm really glad that rody somehow is alive i thought they were going to kill him off or something and you know this is one thing i feel like a lot of people have a problem with like they say like oh like characters you know when some certain characters are going to get killed and by the end of somehow they don't get killed uh, i've seen a lot of people complaining about that this you know they say like oh this makes no sense he, he or she should have died they just kept him or her alive for plot's sake or whatever um this is one thing that at least in my opinion i have a different opinion about i really don't like seeing characters die in anime i really don't like that you know, whoever it is um i guess it's an, there's an exception for very evil characters extremely evil characters you know who are just bad completely if they die i'm like it's fine but other than that all the other side characters and this and that you know like this this is one thing that i at least am i don't appreciate i don't like i don't see like seeing death in anime and um like that's why i'm like you know i'm of a bit of a different opinion from a lot of people and in this point at least i was happy that the character by the end of it was alive somehow because i'm sure a lot of people would probably say that <laughs> roddy he lost so much blood you know that whole scene and he should have died and i'm sure a lot of people will say like just because of plot he was alive by the end of it 
but i'm happy for that you know like i really don't want to see people like die in anime like that's one thing i really don't appreciate and i yeah yeah i'm i'm a, I'm a big like you know like i don't i'm not a big fan of that and another thing oh my god all the things are kind of coming to my head now the whole battle it <laughs> I think like there was like 30 seconds left or something and there was like a whole scene of Deku fighting and when they showed us the timer there was like 10 seconds left so wait what 20 seconds went past during that portion like that's another hilarious part of this movie I feel like you know um this is like Dragon Ball Z I remember like you know like people talk. I've not seen Dragon Ball Z however but I've seen people talk about this thing of how the I feel like in Dragon Ball Z there were people say like there was like an episode where like five minutes or something pass and it's like divided into three or four episodes like in three or four episodes like five minutes or 30 minutes i don't remember how much time but that's how much time it actually passes and <laughs> that's why i said like is this dragon ball z or something like <laughs> it's, it's it's something like that i guess but yeah I'm, I'm, i don't have a problem with that you know like obviously when your adrenaline is rushing and you're just fighting with that you know like force and everything that speed um, yeah, time might like pre probably like seem a little bit slower to you, and yeah, they were having a like you know extremely fast paced battle, so it wouldn't surprise me if the time that passed within that was just twenty seconds. It wouldn't surprise me. So yeah, maybe they were like fighting in inhuman speed, and to, to make it easier for us to see, they slowed it down. <laughs> like I, I feel like they they spent like five to seven minutes on that fighting. You know where like 20 seconds only passed and maybe they slowed it down so much <laughs> five to, like within the, that time like within the five to seven minutes in actual reality in deku's like you know like reality only 20 seconds passed maybe that's the thing you know like and i don't really have a problem with that because the fighting was amazing and yeah i don't i don't i don't like you know care about that but these few things oh and then there was that whole thing with the dad as well another revelation and i kind of realized that yeah it's probably that the dad just to protect them you know like probably be not betray but you know like it seemed as if he's betrayed them but that's not the case because he seemed like a person who really loved his family so i'm i was pretty sure he was either taken hostage or he was like you know somehow being threatened that's why he joined the human eyes and um yeah that's what it like you know got revealed by the end of it and yeah is there anything else Ooh, no i don't think that's there's anything else that i need to talk about here other than that everything was okay so yeah i think that's okay that, that's it yeah by the end of it uh, he, he gets a job and everything and everything's fine you know yeah he, he's going to lead a normal uh good life from here onwards now so that's it that is this movie as i said like a short summary of my discussion is that i enjoyed the movie i enjoyed it tremendously i enjoyed the animations i enjoyed the soundtrack i enjoyed the battles each and everything in that department were fantastic you know it, it gets like the full marks from me but I feel like the plot should have been a little bit new. I feel like they're going, they're kind of overusing this whole thing of like, oh, misunderstood villain, you know, like wants to change the world, killing people because of that. Um, Deku and the heroes come in, they start fighting. Deku, like, you know, is able to reach the final boss room. The other person, the normal person somehow gets in that place as well. Um, they fight, Deku's losing all the heroes are losing it feels as if everything's going to you know end everyone's going to lose then a little twist happens roddy here he does something and he is able to get away from that situation deku and everyone like you know starts fighting again this time like you know they realize the things like oh like everyone's fighting everyone's not giving up we are also going to fight this whole like you know shonen formula and they do that again the other guy that, that like that's like you know not involved in this that person somehow like, is able to go to the final boss room and you know like end the whole thing and Deku and all of them wins like this whole formula I feel like it's a little bit overused and I feel like they should change this a little bit you know other than that would have made the movie a lot like you know 100 times more better and I'm, I'm pretty sure this like for me this movie will probably get like an 8 out of 10 
but if, if they change that as well you know that part as well that formula of like the shonen formula a little bit tweak it a little bit and you don't have to change it just tweak it and it would have probably gotten a nine out of tens in my opinion because it has a solid foundation but in that department it kind of like you know does the same thing over and over again and another thing i really enjoyed like liked about this movie is like the inner like you know like that that hidden like not meaning but the hidden moral that you can see is like even a normal person can save the world the whole thing with deku in the first season when he talks to all might and asks like uh, i i don't have any quirk can i be a hero at first the all might was like you shouldn't probably but then after seeing deku he realizes that like, yeah you need a heart of a hero quirks don't make you a hero uh, the heart makes you a hero and that scene that thing is very heavily like you know, shown in this movie as well where he's just a normal kid you know like his he has a quirk however but still it, it's not a fighting offensive quirk it's just something um i'm going to call him a normal kid and he being a normal kid you know because his heart was that of a hero he was able to save everyone so you don't need to be have like grandos quirks to become a hero you need a heart to be a hero anyone can be a hero even a normal person can be a hero and maybe you are a hero to someone you know even if you don't realize it that's basically like i'm pretty sure he's probably a hero to his siblings you know and now he saved everyone he's like a bigger hero so you are a hero to everyone in like you know some way or the other i'm, I'm pretty sure there is someone who you know for you who sees you as their hero or some, something like that <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying but that's you know like that's what i'm trying to say but yeah like i i like that that the way they kind of did that so yeah anyways so that's it like that was uh, great I, I enjoyed it so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction and my discussion about uh the latest movie of my hero academia um world heroes mission so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say uh your opinion on this movie anything else and i'll check them out so yeah that was it and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh, in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day